doubt you'll think by the title that the raspberry jam is a ship. I see by your faces you guess you're right, but you've all made a terrible slip. Twas the wreck that you stumbled over. Never guess at a thing with a slam. The raspberry jam I refer to is just plain common raspberry jam. One day, at a lawn tennis party, an assemblage, oh, highly fine, they seemed to fall over each other. In fact, to show off their greatness of mind, one chap was discoursing on Darwin and said, the professor was right through and through. We did speak for monkeys. And then a voice said, I believe it when I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> the remark put a stop to the discourse. And the cheery old host said, I think it would be nice to have our tea on the tennis court. Said one, oh, how awfully ripping. <laughs> Another, quite jolly, I'm sure. Another, what? Have our tea on the grass? My word, what a beastly ball. <laughs> then the party strolled slowly over to the meal nicely laid on the lawn. One poor old fellow <laughs> trod in the butter. He wished that he'd never been born. <clears throat> then they languidly flopped round the tea cloth. And all of a sudden he said, Sam, Sam, now Sam, was the host was his servant. Hi! Where is the raspberry jam? <coughs> I fetched it out here myself, sir. I brought it myself, I will swear. I put it, sir, just where you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> it must be about somewhere. <laughs> then we look, said the host, <coughs> slowly rising. And giving a glare over at Sam, for there on the seat of his new pantaloons was the wreck of the raspberry <laughs> <laughs>